Why? That's what I like to know. Why? Because I happen to like the place. Oh, and of course, you had no idea that Burke was going to be there. What am I supposed to do? Check up if they've got any staff changes before we book a table? You know your trouble, don't you? You're, you're about to tell me. You're jealous. I am not. Yeah, all right, I am jealous. You knew he was working that restaurant, and you deliberately... I did not! And please, don't let's have a scene in the street. Who cares? I do. Oh, come on, Des, forget it. He's not worth it. It was something that happened two years ago. Hmm. I haven't seen him since, and I don't particularly want to. It was before I knew you anyway. Second best, that's all I am. You got me there just to show him off to me. Well, I don't think he's good-looking. In fact, I... Oh, go I away, Des! A... I'm stopping in the shop doorway. I'm not trudging through this snow, getting drenched while you... Oh, just... goodbye, then. Child. That's all he is. Oh, antique shop. Oh, well, might as well go right in. Tales of Antiquity. We present Tales of Antiquity, stories of the romantic past captured through the eyes and ears of Eustace Glean, collector extraordinary. His story for tonight, Cat Among the Pigeons. Can a shampoo work a end mark on scoopers? Contra has a really good work. Oh, yeah, beslist. I was my heart two times per week, and every time I use Contra. Sluit aan by Contra se veldtocht teen Skilpers. Die resultate spreek vanself. Hmm. Morning already. Good morning. Hmm? That'll be 23 rand, please, sir. 23? What do you mean 23 rand? Well, inflation, mortgage, payments on your car, tax, all adds up while you sleep. 23 rand? Look, see an NBS investment advisor for expert advice. He'll ensure that your money earns the highest interest rates possible. He's got tax saving schemes that can give 29% growth over three and a half years. Right. Can I eat my breakfast now? That'll be one round fifty extra, sir. Make your money worth earning. Get a share of the golden banana. It's gloomy. I'll fetch a lamp. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Are you the owner? That's right. Uh, come, come over here. I, I, I have a lamp. Don't you have electricity? I don't find it necessary. Here we are. What do you think of my uh, my treasures? Beautiful. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm making a mess over your floor. It's the snow. I should have wiped my oh, feet. Oh, no matter. I'm sorry you and your husband fight so much. How did you know? Through the door. <laughs> uh, did you know your previous boyfriend was working in that restaurant? Well, well, yes, as a, as a matter of fact. I, But it's his own fault. He's always going on about his old flames. Tit for tatty. <laughs> the old game. But you all settled down. The first year's always the most difficult to get used to each other. How on earth did... Now, you didn't hear that through the door. No, I didn't. Let me show you something. Then how did you know we went... This necklace. No, please listen to me, Mr... Mr... Glean. Eustace Glean. Uh, Baroque pearls and silver. Here, take it. That is heavy. The work of the Portuguese silversmith Ramon Dalvares. Lisbon, 1703. I wouldn't like to guess how much... No doubt it is worth a fortune, Mama. But you may inform Senor Don Diago de Sota that I regard him as a fat old lecher. Please return it to him at once. On the 27th of December, 1703, the English envoy, John Methuen, concluded a treaty whereby... The exchange of port wine for English woolens became the basis of Anglo-Portuguese trade. It was this treaty which enabled many a Lisbon merchant to increase his wealth to such an extent that a new, unsophisticated class of society sprang up, similar to the nouveau riche, the newly rich, of France. 
Don Diago de Soto was of this vulgar class, who had capitalized by converting his one fishing vessel into a full seagoing merchantman, and was now the proud owner of a fleet of some 20 ships at the port of Lisbon. But at 55, he remained a bachelor. Then, upon a fine summer's day of 1706, whilst visiting friends at Setubal, Don Diago noticed a pretty young girl, whom he later discovered to be the daughter of the widow Senora Prada. He therefore called upon the lady, a somewhat overbearing soul, and she summoned her daughter to reveal the purpose of Don Diago's visit. Enter. Ah, Mariana. Come hither, child. Mama, who was that revolting person I saw leaving the house? That gentleman, Mariana, is Don Diago de Soto. And well, whoever he may be, Mama, he's quite odious. Mariana! Then I only pray you do not propose inviting him to become a frequent caller. Be seated, child, and cease your prattling. Do you know he's been pestering me with his attentions for some days now? What's this? Quite so, Mama. Why, I can scarce set foot beyond the gates without his great shadow falling across my path. Only yesterday in the marketplace... And what, pray, were you about in the marketplace, child? Oh, fear not, Mama. Andrews accompanied me. That old fool. I cannot think why we continue to employ such a numbskull. What use he might be in a crisis, I fear to think. More like he'd aid the attacker than leap to your aid, child. Would it please you then, Mama, that I should venture the streets unaccompanied? For one of us must do the bargaining with the vendors. And since you are too haughty to do so... Cease, child. Why, you grow more impertinent as the days pass. Now, what was I at? You were speaking of that vulgar fat lump, Don Diago de Sota. Senor de Sota is a very wealthy gentleman who is most taken with you, Mariana. Well, then, for my sake, Mama, you will kindly persuade him to take his attentions elsewhere. I shall fast lose patience with you, child, if you do not hold your noise and heed me. Senor de Sota has requested permission to call upon you. Mama, you did not give consent. Indeed, I did so. The gentleman shall call upon the morrow precisely at the hour of ten. Then, Mama, I shall be at great pains to be elsewhere. You shall do no such thing, even if it falls to me to keep you confined to your chamber until the hour of Senor de Sota's arrival. No, Mama. I say yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Ah, Senor de Sota, here you are. How punctual. Mariana is so looking forward to meeting you. Are you not, child? No, Ariana. Come forward and do not. I will well, not meet the fat, ugly lump. Ah, Senor, my little one, I fear is somewhat bashful. Come. Forward, child. Uh, good day to you, Senorita Prada. <laughs> Say good day to the Senor Mariana. <coughs> Senor, do forgive. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I see the little one has a sense of fun. Oh, good, good. Ah, yes, Senor. Mariana has always been a lively child. Uh, oh, so good. Uh, a lively wit is to be much admired. Oh, I am delighted. I am not so hush. Well, now, I'm sure you wish to grow acquainted without my interference, so I shall leave you. No, Mama. Now, now, Mariana, Senor de Soto shall not eat you. I shall return anon. <laughs> oh, come, my dear, will you not uh, sit beside me? <laughs> I fear the delicacy of that sofa shall not support us both, Senor de Soto. Uh, yes, uh, to be sure. Well, now. Uh, uh, Senor, uh, I feel bound to remark that the attention you have displayed, and in public places has become an embarrassment. Oh, dear child, forgive me, too, but uh, I could not help myself. Uh, I fear I am uh, I am smitten, my dear. May I be frank with you, senor? Oh, pray do, my dear, yes. I am informed that time to a biz man is money spent. Oh, true, true. Yes. Then the episode shall be a costly affair, for naught shall come of it. Oh, my dear Mariana, if I am to be so bold as to address you thus, uh, I am a patient man. Indeed, my present position was achieved with patience. <laughs> I did not suppose to win you in a single morning. <laughs> I foresee a wonder of days, nay, weeks, months ahead of fair courting. <laughs> Tis a prospect I anticipate with great joy and speculation. <laughs> but we are as yet strangers, are we not? Therefore, my dear, let me impart a little of my back. Oh, heavens preserve me. 
from such boredom? Is there no shaking the man? My dear, no shaking of the noble Senor de Soto. Mama, there is little that is noble about that overfed lump. The man cannot help his proportions, Mariana. <laughs> he might eat less. No, Andreas, not the red trunk. Uh, the red trunk. I said you said this is the red trunk. But I do not want the red one, the black one. Put it back. Put it back. Black, oh. Andres, black. Are you colorblind as well as deaf? At this rate, we shall never reach Lisbon. Lisbon? Do we go to Lisbon, senor? Grant me patience. I am dress Lisbon. Now do senorita Mariana's bidding and change the red trunk for the black one. Why do we leave for Lisbon, senor? I'm happy here in Sechibol. I mean, besides, if my sister Isabella is all alone... But you never see your sister, Andreas. Ah, but... Here it is but a short distance, should I wish to do so. And then there's my brother Pedro. I am not concerned with your innumerable brothers and sisters, Andres. Simply that you employ yourself with the loading of our carriage. The Senor de Soto expects us within the week, not within the year. Now hurry. Oh, my old bones ache. So shall your head if you do not fetch the back trunk. Uh, I have done so. It was the first I brought. Then why, you fish brain you, do you keep us dawdling here when we might be on our way? I cannot say, senor, but that I, I get somewhat muddled. Now, what, what am I to do with the red trunk? Return it to the house, blockhead, and let us be on our way. to be of as a like mind as Andreas. Oh, no matter, Andreas. I did not call. Oh, I, I heard you. Well, what is it? Nothing, you old fool. Continue with your driving of the carriage. I know, I do. Oh, Mama. Why do we continue to employ such an old dunderhead? Because he is the only one fool enough to work merely for his food. And what would he do with the money, pray? Merely spend it. Oh, this eternal preoccupation with money. Even I, your own flesh and blood, am not free from your scheming. Why, you'd sell me to the odious Don Diago as freely as you barter merchandise in the marketplace. The Senor de Soto is a most wealthy gentleman. We could do well by this visit to Lisbon. Why, I'm told he has as many as a score of merchantmen anchored there. And so generous, too. This necklace he's presented to you must have cost him no less than 500 ducats. No doubt, Mama. Do we slow down? Oh, what is the old fool about now? Andres! Why do you stop? You are not in your bed, Andres. Be quiet. Oh, heavens. What is it, Mama? Heavens. We shall be killed in our beds. Oh, faint. I faint. Well, do you hear me, child? I faint. Aid me. And be sure you hide the necklace. Step down. All, if you'd yet live. swap hunter's taste we won't swap hunter's flavor there's one thing a hunter man won't do that swap that honest flavor sunripe golden burly hunter cigarettes tea toasted to meet a man's taste so many people turning to wheat mix to keep slim, fit, and full of life? Because wheat is nature's wonder food, the richest of all grains. And wheat mix is all wheat, not just a great breakfast, a recommended health food to enjoy at all times, every day, so many ways. You get so much from wheat mix, because you get so much from wheat. Oh, what?
what is to become of us? What? If you do not cease that noise, Andris, you shall be shown. And sharply with my cane. Oh, but, Senora, my wife and babes, what of them? You old fool. You do not have a wife and babes. Uh, do, do I? Do I not? What, what happened? Oh, this is most confusing. I think it's so wonderful. Oh, I did my ah. sister. Yes, it is. It would be a mercy to be yes. sure to put the old bonehead out of his misery. Now, Mariana, you have the necklace secreted I, in a safe I, place. Safe? Hi, Mama. Though its safety depends mainly on the propriety of our assailants. What child? Oh. Wherever is it put? Here, within my bodies. Oh, hush, Mama. The handsome brick and guns. Are you without wit, girl? The man's most like a murderer. Aye, no doubt. But a most pretty one. Ah, the pretty maid and her ugly mother. Sir, you are impertinent. No doubt, ma'am. And you are hideous. <laughs> Silence, girl. What is your name, maid? It is of no consequence to you, you vulgar cutthroat. It is the calf I address, not the old calf. How dare you speak so? Hold your prattling tongue, woman. Or would you have one of my fellows do so for you? My name, sir, is Mariana. Mariana Prada. And I am Bartolomeo Rodeth. At your service, Senorita Prada. <laughs> what service this, pray? Come, Senorita, let us draw a little way off. I would speak with you without interruption. Remain, Mariana. Jose, Carlos, restrain the old harridan. Oh, how dare you! Unhandy, villains, cutthroats! Please, 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 <laughs> but there is a lightness in your manner which I find most becoming. And truly, you you are the only man yet able to tame Mama. A most rare accomplishment. Mm, you are yourself not without boldness. How do you travel this road, Senorita? Ah, there be an odious reminder. We are to meet my suitor, a vulgar, swollen fellow I would gladly do without. It is a contrivance of Mama's, for the man is a wealthy merchant residing in Lisbon. We travel there, where, no doubt, he shall reduce us to boredom with the showing of his extravagant possessions. Most displeasing prospect. How long has this merchant been known to you? Don Diago de Soto first persuaded Mama in this some three months since. Upon his return to Lisbon, for we reside at Sentubo, mm -hmm. I imagined the matter might rest. But nay, letters of entreaty, accompanied by the gaudiest of gifts, poured forth. Gifts? And the... What gifts? Oh. I thought your thieving ears might prick up at their mention. <laughs> Here, I have an example of his vulgarity. Mm -hmm. ah, the gems catch at my flesh. <sighs> there. Uh, Is this not a sight indeed? Truly ungainly piece. Yet these gems might be worth the keeping. Oh, then do so, pray, for I want none of it. Uh, how wealthy is this Don Diago? Ah, most. And yet you do not burn for him? Oh, Senora Death. Were you to see the man, you would understand more readily my revulsion. Then I have a plan oh. in which I seek your aid. Um, but first, let us remove ourselves from here. The highway runs too closely by. Two thousand ducats! But this is an iniquity! Are you certain that... The... That, that is the amount, Fernandez. Senor, read for yourself. Oh, how might I? Well, you know well enough, I cannot. What What more is there? No more, Senor de Sota. <laughs> All that the letter contains, I have read out to uh, you. That if you would see your Mariana alive, alive then oh, 2,000 oh, ducats shall be delivered within two weeks. Uh, the place of exchange shall be arranged uh, once you've agreed to the demand. Oh, what must I do? What must I do? Really, Senor, you must pay. But such a sum, Fernandez, uh, and she being such a tiny creature. I was not aware, Senor, that love was assessed in measure and weight. Are uh, you being impertinent, Fernandez? Uh, what has love to do with this? This is a matter of golden ducats. Oh, I, I, I shall be ruined. Then do not pay. But I want to. Then pay. But such a sum. Then do not pay. Oh, such a quandary. Oh, love is such an expensive pastime, is it not? Oh, very well, Fernandez. Fetch me pen and paper. <laughs> say, Mariana. Um, hmm? My great love <laughs> <laughs> shall be heartbroken if... Ah, here, Bartolomeo. Mm -hmm. 
but nevertheless shall be willing to pay the amount stated. Mm. If you shall but instruct me where you would receive payment, distracted yours, and so on. We have him. <laughs> Let us reply. Senor Odeth, I demand that you release us immediately. Senora, we plan just that now. Plan? How so plan? Simply release us and allow us on our way. I said your I would be away too. My poor sister Annabella. I thought your sister was Isabella. I she, she too. And my brother Pedro. All, all I say shall be wondering what has become of me. Andrus, you prattle more nonsense than there be air in the sky. Cease now, or I shall persuade these butchers to sell you for horse flesh. Ah, no, you, you would not sell. Whilst you and your demented slave compose yourselves, oh. Mariana and I have a matter to settle. Matter? What matter, pray? Oh, anon, Mama. Anon. Mariana, return this instant. Senor Odeth, release my daughter. I do not hold her, Senora. Mariana goes whither she will. This is an outrage. When Senor de Sota hears of this, there shall be blood spilled, mark you well. I shall personally inform him of this insult. Which might well be sooner than you anticipate, Senora. Come, Mariana. Uh, 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 how much further, Fernandez? Uh, this is a most steep climb. We are all but there, senor. Uh, we are to wait at the large uh, boulder yonder. Uh, yes. There, see? The one door been red. Uh, oh, oh, this is most undignified. Uh, Why can we not meet in a more civil height manner in some inn, perhaps? Uh, he, he's scrambling about mountains and such like is so so vulgar. <laughs> yes, but no doubt the villain wishes to remain anonymous. Hence our climb off the beaten track. Stay! Oh, oh, oh hold me, Fernando! Oh, you come in good time, senors! Uh, uh, where, 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 where might you be? I do not see you. Me? You do not need to see, senor de Sota. Uh, I take it you are he. I, I have the misfortune to be the owner of that name. Misfortune? But you are shortly to receive the one of your choice. Does not your heart rejoice, senor? Aye, senor. It also bleeds somewhat. The price you ask for that which is mine exceeds all reason. Yet, yet willingly do, do I surrender to your demands and mistake me not. For love will out no matter what the cost. Is well. Now, senor, place the money behind the boulder. Uh, have you the pouch, Fernandez? Uh, is it not with you, senor? Oh, bless us, do not say we are arrived without our tender. Do you delay, senor? Uh, yeah, uh, but a moment, senor. Search, Fernandez, oh, the ducats must be about you somewhere. Not so, senor. It was to you I gave them. Search, search within your lower jacket. Uh, but I, I tell you, I do not. I, oh, Oh, bless my soul, here it is. Now, how did that occur? <sighs> Come now, hurry, uh, senor. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, 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 here, here, see, I, I place the pouch of ducats now. There. Good. Now draw up some 40 paces. Uh, Quickly now. Uh, uh, oh, yes, 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 of course. Uh, come, come, for that, yes, uh, 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 Further? Uh, Further? Uh, yes. Yes, there, remain a while. Uh, what of your side of the bargain, senor? Patience, my fat friend, till I have seen your gold. Aye, aye, this will do. Jose, bring forth the female and place her behind the rock. I regret the using of you so, but your release shall come soon. Senors! Come forward and collect your prize. Quickly, fellows, withdraw. Fernandez, <laughs> come quickly. <laughs> oh, come, come, Fernandez, come. I would reach my fair Mariana. Why, look, senor. The poor creature's bound, gagged, and covered with sackcloth. Oh, oh, how could they treat a poor maiden so? Help me, Fernandez. Help me unravel the twines. You heartless fiend! I wish you both great joy. There, senor. The bonds are free. Uh, 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 oh. Senor de Soto, stop those fiends. This is not my Mariana. Of course not, you lump. That villain has my daughter. Stop them, do you hear? Oh. Stop now. Stop, 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 you fiends. Come back. Uh, I am Ralph. Ralph. 
Come back, give me my money. Senora, please release my arm. I want my money. Senora, I come back. You... <laughs> Special blend. What else could we call the special blending of hand selected tobaccos except special blend? BB Special Blend is a mixture of three choice varieties of imported and domestic tobacco leaf, specially blended for medium strength, smooth flavor, and pleasing aroma. To satisfy from the first draw to the last. BB Special Blend. Hand selected tobaccos that satisfy down to the last draw. Tonight, after dinner, enjoy the finest instant of your life. Makona Fine Dessert Coffee is like no other instant. Makona costs a little more than most instants. And Makona is made from an expert blend of rich, dark Central American beans. 100% pure coffee with a flavor so rich you'd swear it was fresh ground. Tonight, after dinner, enjoy the finest instant of your life. Makona Dessert Coffee. Perhaps the finest pure instant in the world. have but remained a while to catch the soda's looks when he discovered it was your mother he had purchased. Oh, indeed. I think they are well matched. And you and I? We are well matched, too. Can't the Amy do well as a brigand's wife? <laughs> Why, sir, are you out of your mind? What are you doing standing in the snow, roaring with laughter? Oh, Bartolomeo, what a pair we shall make. Bartolomeo? Hey, who's Bartolomeo? What have you been up to? I came back here to apologize, oh, and now you're going no, on... No, Des, Des, wait. Bartolomeo. There was an old man, a very old man, and an antique shop. Now listen to me. Oh, dear. I think the cat's really among the pigeons. <laughs> Meet the new fit box from Carlton. Carlton's new fit box pops up tissues one at a time, smoothly, without tearing. Pull out one. There's another. For the past 30 minutes, you've been listening to Tales of Antiquity. Tonight's story, Cat Among the Pigeons, was written by Kenneth Handel and produced for Springbok Radio by June Dixon. Finalists in the warm hearting Toys for Joy competition are now on display in Shop 79, Lower Mall in the Carlton Centre. This is a real wonderland of toys of a very high standard which the whole family will enjoy. Now that's at the Carlton Centre, Shop 79, Lower Mall.
You're tuned to Springbok Radio at your favourite station for brighter broadcasting, and the time is a quarter past eight. Springbok Radio invites you to meet our three wise men and to test the team. Good evening and welcome to a programme of general knowledge, questions and answers. The questions come from our listeners, the answers from our three pundits. So every Sunday night at this time, it's your business to test the team. We won't swap hunters' taste. We won't swap hunters' flavor. There's one thing a hunter man won't do that swap. That honest flavor, sun ripe, golden, burly. Hunter cigarettes deep toasted to meet a man's taste. Volgjorig en vars geroosterd. Frisco is voor echte koffieliefhebbers. Skunke koffie, echte koffie en geniet die allerbeste koffiewaarde. Frisco is volgjorig, vriendelijk en hartelijk. Rijk, sterk en bevriedigend. 